Hey guys, today I am going to show you how to do the reverse product search on Tactical Arbitrage. I've made a video about this in the past, but it was a very basic video. So in this video, I'm going to go more in depth and show you exactly how to do it properly and to make a lot of money using Tactical Arbitrage and the reverse product search function on it. So before you start doing reverse product search, you need Storefront Stalker Pro. So if you don't have that yet, click the link in the description below. You can get it from there first. And then once you've got it from the link in the description below, then watch the rest of this video because you're gonna need this to work in conjunction with Tactical Arbitrage prior to being able to do reverse product search. So once you have Storefront Stalker Pro, then you can get into this window and you'll be able to see this exactly as I see it. And the first thing that you can do is you can scan best sellers in the reverse product search. So let's say we want to scan the best sellers of baby products and we're going to start from number one. So basically what this will do is it will scan from the top ranking baby product until 100,000 sales rank. So it'll scan 100,000 products and it will tell you if any of those products are going to be profitable for you to resell on Amazon. And it will tell you where you can purchase them from. So let's do this search just to show you guys how to do it. So we would do this and then the search, the search that I've been using so far today, I was been running a few earlier, was under costs and fees one cent, one cent, and 60 cents per pound to ship to Amazon. And then for profit and ROI, a $5 gross profit at least, and a 25% return on investment at least. So that's what I've been using today, and that's what we're going to use. So all you do now is you press search, and it is going to search through 100,000 baby products of the top selling baby products, and tell us where we can buy them from and which ones are gonna be profitable for us to resell on Amazon. The next thing that reverse search can do, that's a super powerful thing, but this is also really good to be able to compete with your competitors and stay above the competition. And that is to be able to search the, your competitor's database of Amazon products and see where you can purchase them from and which ones would be profitable so that you can better compete with your competitors. So we go over to Amazon, we need to find a listing that's already been listed. This can be done on any Amazon website. I'm just happening to use amazon.ca because I'm in Canada. And so you go to the product and then you click however many new there are. So it's being sold by Amazon, so we can't search from them other than with the best seller rank, uh, which we're already, the, the best seller search that we're already running, but what we do is we got to click on a another Amazon marketplace seller to basically scrape from or to search their database and it's called a reverse search. So first one is here is Fern Canada. So let's click them and click Fern Canada storefront. And basically they ha only have 30 products listed but we'll still run the search anyways, just so I can show you guys how to use it. So you go up here, you, you'll have the Google Chrome extension of Storefront Stalker Pro, and you click on it, and you click all ASIN from this seller slash page. Once you click that, it will scan through all, all their pages, they only have two. And what we do, what I usually do is I just put their the first part of their name or their name into here, and we always select TA for tactical arbitrage, and save. So now that's saved. And what we do is we go back to tactical arbitrage in the reverse search tab, and we will go import bulk product codes. So here, the last uh, vendor I looked up was the happy vendor. And next we will go upload new file and we'll go choose file. And we will select fern TA. All right, and we click upload. And these, I'll just show you what this pulls up. So it will pull up all 30 of this person's um, ASINs that they currently have. So as we can see, there's nothing under the UPC tab, but there is, all of them are under the ASIN tab. So we'll close this and we put for product UPC, we put not defined. And for product ASIN, we leave it as ASIN. Now click Upload. 
And so now that's in there and we just have to select our filter. And we're gonna use the same filter as last time, like I said, the one cent, one cent, and 60 cents, and then the $5 and 25% ROI. Now we click search. Now that search will start running in the background and we'll run a few more searches, then we'll go through some of the products that were found by these searches and we will go from there and find which products are gonna be profitable to resell. So let's go back now and we can just go down the list. This is just one product uh, that I was going off of, but you can go off of any product on Amazon and you can go off of any of your competitors' pages. So now let's go to, this person only got two feedback. Let's go to someone with some more feedback. They probably have more products. Let's go to Best Deals CA. So we'll click their storefront. And they have 97 products. So let's click on Storefront Stalker Pro, click all ASINs from this seller page, and it will scan their five pages. And then we'll just do best deals. And we'll select TA, save that. And then we'll go back to the reverse search on tactical arbitrage and we will import bulk product codes, upload a new file, choose the file, and click on best deals-ta. Upload, and once again, not defined for UPC, and leave it as ASIN for product ASIN. And we will once again use the same filter as we used last time, and we'll click search. So the nice thing about tactical arbitrage now is you can run 10 searches at once and then you can put more into the queue as well. So if you get past 10 searches, then you can still be running searches, but it'll just go into the queue. And once your current searches are done, then those ones that are in the queue will run. So tactical arbitrage has gotten a lot better over this past year. And going into 2019, I'm sure they're going to release more features that are going to really help you grow your Amazon business. So... I use this all the time and it's very valuable to find products to resell on Amazon. So let's go through one more and then we're going to go through some of our results and see what we pulled up. So we'll go back, we'll go back to that same product, that Uno product. And we'll click on this one, we'll do Jacoby Supplies. And here's their storefront. So we'll click on that, and then we'll go back up to Storefront Stalker. Same thing every time, all ASINs. And it will scan through their eight pages. Sometimes you'll get sellers with over 30 pages, so that's nice. It'll scan through a lot more products. Uh, so we'll type in Jacoby, TA, save. We'll go back here, upload new file. As we can see from that last search, we already found one product that's going to be profitable. I'm currently running three searches. And let's see, choose file. And Jacoby. Upload. And then not to find and ASIN. So even though that search went away, it's still running in the background and we will run it the same filter as last time and click search. So it's a pretty fast process and you can search through a lot of products this way and it's a nice way to directly compete with your competitors. Uh, this definitely works really good on amazon.com as well because it's searching through so many more suppliers so you do tend to find more products that are able to be resold on amazon.com so if you're in the States or if you're selling on Amazon.com, then make sure you run this search quite frequently because you can make a lot of money this way. So let's click search. And now this one's running. We got four searches running as you can see here. And we will go back to view reverse. So view reverse is where, you've, where you see everything that's been pulled through these reverse searches. So let's see what we got here. So we got 50 items right now, probably likely around 45 because it does put in the ones that are currently being searched. 
Uh, you'll see this number maybe go down a little bit, but anyways, let's go through and I like to always sort it by the ones that are in stock. If they're not in stock, as you can see, these ones are a nose. So I like to sort it by in stock at the top. So you just click that again. And I skip all the ones that are on eBay. Uh, anything on eBay generally I haven't had good success with, so I just skip those ones. So here we go. We got one here. This is a Playmobil NHL Advent Calendar Road to the Cup. And even though it's not Christmas time anymore, we've passed Christmas, these can still be good to buy because people will still buy them afterwards to be able to sell these mini figures or whatever comes in these packages. So it's an $8.46 profit. It says it's in stock, so let's go to Toys R Us. We can close this now. And so we can see we can buy five. Regular $34.99 on for $14.98. That's a good deal. Uh, definitely going to be a good one to buy. And yeah, let's go to Amazon, see what it's currently selling for. If you guys want to buy this, go go for it. Uh, you're going to make money off of it. And yeah, I would check this one out for sure. Let's see some of the other stuff we've pulled. So this is like a $3.99, such a low price. I would just skip it. Uh, what, what's this one here? This is a $7 profit, but it's a $155. I'm going to skip that one. Here's one, $17.99 and a $5 profit. No, too low. Um, this one is a $6 profit. 27 monthly sales. Sure, let's check this one out. It says it's in stock. Okay, so the, that one actually is out of stock. Sometimes you'll get ones that are mismatches or actually are out of stock even though it says they're in stock. Let's find a different one. So here's a, a purse, so $16.50 profit, and it is, where is it here, 27 sales per month. Let's check it out on Toys R Us. So it's on for half off, $25 right now. And under the reverse search, let's see, on Amazon.ca. The cheapest price is $79 for Prime. So this is actually a super good buy because it is going off the price of being on average $68 for the last 30 days and the average price for the last 90 days is $57. So this is a good buy too. Uh, 27 sales per month. I would buy the maximum five that you can buy. And yeah, you're going to make some good money off this one. So. These are just a couple examples, but I just wanted to show you guys really the possibilities of using the reverse search. And if you don't have Storefront Stalker Pro, you guys need it. Uh, if you're using Tactical Arbitrage and you don't have it, you're really not using Tactical Arbitrage to the fullest of its potential. And you really are missing out on a great opportunity to find a lot more products to resell on Amazon. So as we can see, this is what's been pulled for today. I would delete all these eBay ones and we get quite a few Toys R Us results. Now I know in the United States Toys R Us is shut down but here in Canada we still have Toys R Us so there's definitely a lot of potential to purchase toys from there and resell them on Amazon. So I hope this video helped you uh, have a better understanding about how to use the reverse search and about why you should get Storefront Stalker Pro. I'll put a link in the description below to get Storefront Stalker Pro, and I'll also put a link in the description below to get Tactical Arbitrage if you haven't got it yet. If you're selling on Amazon and you don't have Tactical Arbitrage, you're missing out, once again, like I said, on a huge opportunity to make a lot of money on, with selling on Amazon FBA. So thanks so much for watching this video, guys, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more.